This is CC Amethyst. Um, I actually need to go catch the bus soon to go to uni, so I can't talk for long. But I thought I'd do a little intro. I have officially one week before everything is due. If you haven't watched the first part to this assignment where I kind of explain the designing process and kind of like, you know, the backstory, I mean, I'll probably still brush upon it in this video, but um, this video is essentially me going through the whole like finalizing pattern making stage and also cutting out all the fabric and making my final garments. And so I spent the first couple of days of the week finalizing the patterns, like this little panel on my pants, just adding a little bit of extra like hemline and just adjusting some of the sizes but to give you a little rundown of like the design that I left off with in my last video it was these two sketches and then along the way we had weekly toile like fitting sessions with a model where we started off with making a silhouette of our design and then the following week kind of developing on it until our final garment and through the process of developing many different toiles my designs then changed into these two final looks which is a more refined and intentional version I first made like a really 2D version of my original designs but like just making the silhouette so the purpose of this toile was for me just to get an idea of like how big I wanted everything to be which then led me to develop like a 3D version of my designs the following week and based off the original paper modeling that we did in the beginning of the semester, I took that same idea and translated it into fabric. So I basically sewed a version of that, which then became this toile. And a little fun fact about this pair of pants, because it is now 3D and bulging out, um, there were exactly 50 pattern pieces that made up this pair of pants. Five, zero. Drawing so many pattern pieces and cutting out so many was very tiring and almost drove me insane. But don't get me wrong, I think the effort of everything makes the pants look absolutely immaculate, if I do say so myself. But because, you know, this is for an assignment and we are on a time crunch, meant that I had to work fast. And in case you don't know, besides sewing and the whole designing process, cutting out fabric and especially finalizing the pattern pieces takes up majority of the time. I would say. However, I do feel like if there wasn't such a high pressure on completing an assignment in such a short amount of time, I think if I were to make everything in my own timeline, it would be quite therapeutic because I really like the artistic and creative process of like turning something from design concept into real life, like this pair of pants. Like, I am absolutely in love with this pair of pants. This is probably by far the most complex design I have ever made with the most interesting pattern pieces. So I think that that is a win for my goal of this assignment. I think I stayed up until 6 around this day and the fabric that I am currently cutting out is actually from a secondhand kimono. It was the right shade of color purple that I really liked but the bad thing was that it was a bit too light to hold structure so I had to fuse together interfacing in order to give it some strength and make it thicker which is what I'm doing on this little machine contraption here. Heating it up in order for the fusing to stick with the fabric and although I had stayed until like 6 p.m. ish in the studio and went home a little late um i still continued working endlessly after dinner up until like you know my bedtime because if i did not have all my fabric pieces cut out um i would have less time to sew so i am just crunching away in the small living room space that i had at home a little tmi but i am gonna get my period <laughs> and you know like before you get the period for the girlies like 
you get a little moody, emotional, or just real tired. And I need to finish a whole other assignment, but I just wanted to update you guys. Don't know if you can see, you know what, let me switch the camera around. Whoop. Okay, you see this? This is a third of one sleeve. Yes. <laughs> I've sewed all like these individual rows for my sleeves. Um, and I'm starting to do that for the pants. Um, but because it is nighttime right now, um, I tend to work better at nighttime in terms of cutting fabric. So this right here, oh, this is a collar that I need to cut out for the top. So my second top, I still haven't cut out the sleeves and the like bodice and that collar. So it's like one whole extra top that I need to cut the fabric out for. Um, and I do that better at night because there is better lighting and because this room is fairly dark and it's the only place I can cut my fabric. Anyway, I just want to show you this. Um, I did put up my hair because, uh, you know, so it won't get caught when I cut the fabric, but I just wanted to show you this. <laughs> like, I've got an old oil, facial oil bottle. This is one of my oil painting oil bottles. This is a fabric paint bottle. Oh my god, shout out to Flower Nose for sending me like a few of their recent like products from their mermaid collection. Uh, this is uh, my lip products because I still gotta look fabulous even though I feel sad and like tired. And then I have a um, jar of like old Mod Podge from when I was like year eight, year nine. What is that? Like 13 years old? I'm 21, guys. <laughs> and then a really old perfume bottle. I don't know, I just thought this was really funny. And I've probably shown this multiple times before that I do not use fabric weights. I'm a third year fashion student and I still do not use proper fabric weights. But yo, this makes me look so bougie. Okay, I'm gonna cut my fabric out and start progressing. Stop progressing. Yeah. One more thing about this assignment I thought that I would let you know is the cost for this assignment. Because we were making two complete looks, which was almost like more than double the amount of work that we have been doing for the past two years of studying fashion. For buying fabrics and materials alone in order to create the garments, I spent around like $150 to $200 um, if I am estimating like in that range. And we also had to pay separately out of our own pockets for the modeling fit sessions which is about $15 for 15 minutes times 3 it is 10 30 p.m. Uh, and this is everything I've cut all the pants the sleeves for the top that's like the bodice for one of the tops and the pants I still need to cut the collar and the other top and another fabric but this looks so satisfying guys <laughs> okay I need to go asleep <laughs> Realize the camera's shaking violently while I saw earthquake. <laughs> I have not done a check-in in a second. I got all my hair pulled back with little cute Kuromi. I just spent all day today, started to write an assignment that is due today at midnight and it is nearing 10 p.m. and I am very proud of myself <laughs> for finishing it within a day. I think this is the first time I've actually started and completed an assignment within a day but to be fair I did all the research and information gathering like beforehand so today was just a matter of fact of writing it all out <laughs> and I thought I'd show you um, everything I did because I am very proud and this is gonna be the last time that I write such a long report for a university assignment I just need to finish my references goddamn stuff references like can't we just put a link and say we found the information from here like you know what at this point I don't care if I perfect my referencing or not like which ones are 
Capitals, italics, or whatever. This is like just the baseline referencing format that I have memorized in my brain and I can't be bothered. So yeah, that is in total 15 pages. But if you do not count the reference page and the title page, that is 13 pages. And here's the thing, I study best when I'm at like maybe a cafe or a library or if I'm with like friends, like people around me do not distract me because I am an extrovert. I suck energy from people around me and gives me motivation to do work. So I studied at the library first and then the cafe got some nice food. Before I came home, um, I actually only had like the final conclusion and stuff to write, which I basically just did after dinner. But to treat myself after my little cafe and library study date, I think I have a bit of an addiction, so I got plushies. I have more than enough Kuromi plushies, but this is so cute. It's a little cute baby. This is from the store called Japan's. It's like Kuromi if she were to have poodle hair. And then this little like head Kuromi with the Baku, I think that's what it's called, little like costume on the head and the keychain is pearls with like a little ribbon like how cute is that i already have like this is the other head keychain i had but like it's different and they're both so adorable and now on every single one of my bags i can have something cute and then i also developed a squishmallow addiction recently um <laughs> the workers in toy world were actually like putting this on display on the shelves and putting on like the tags and sticker pricing like while they're doing the job and keep in mind this was like one hour before the mall closes and i walk into the store and i'm like oh, like completely new stock of squishmallows and new zealand always gets like stock where everything lasts like i'm pretty sure this is you know all the other countries had this for a while but this is this is new and it's like this cute little i don't even know what this is is this an octopus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It is an octopus. It has eight little legs. Like, it's like a little princess. <laughs> like, this is like a crown. Like, why is there just a random shell there? But I actually, like, saw these plushies in the Japan store uh, yesterday. Um, I told myself that I will only be able to get them if I finish my assignment. I mean, it's not like 100%, but I technically did, you know, like, manage to pull it off somehow. So, this is my random plushy haul. Um, before I start writing my references, I am just munching on these chips. Before I submit. This officially marks the end of my semester one for my last year of studying fashion. I wouldn't say the outcome of these garments are perfect, but I think they are to the best of my ability. And I think I certainly did learn a lot and expand outside of my comfort zone in terms of patterning. And I definitely did get some constructive good feedback going into semester two for my final collection. And overall, this assignment was quite the experience and I think I am satisfied with the outcome. I would like to say thank you so much for watching the small vlogging process and supporting me along the way to this final outcome. Maybe you can do some shots here, um, but not of me on my phone though. I just need to... oh.